You made some good observations in the last quiz about the XML that we showed you. Now we're going to talk more formally about the XML syntax. Syntax means the rules that define what valid XML is. If you write invalid XML, then it won't even show up on your phone. This is the code for the XML element called text view. We always start with an opening angle bracket followed by the view name. This could be image view, button, or any other type of view. Then we have a list of attributes here, one per line. And then we have a forward slash and then a closing angle bracket. There's a lot of symbols and characters here. To help you remember it, you can think of an opening angle bracket, ding, and then the view name, whoosh, and then the attributes, pew, 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 and then the forward slash, and then the closing angle bracket, boom. So altogether, it's ding, whoosh, pew, 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 boom. If you miss any of these symbols, then you're going to get invalid XML. Here's the reasoning behind what seem to be arbitrary symbols. For every XML element, when you start or open up a tag, you always need to close it. It's kind of like putting a period at the end of a sentence. But for XML, instead of a sentence, you need to make sure you close each tag. Because we start the tag here and then close it right away, this is called a self-closing tag. Instead of a self-closing tag, you could have a separate opening tag and a separate closing tag. Here's an example where it would be useful. This is for the linear layout view, which is what you're going to learn later in this lesson. But just know that this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. The closing tag is the same, except it has an open angle bracket, a forward slash, the name of the view, and then a closing angle bracket. So the difference between the opening and the closing tag is this um, forward slash. And you'll also notice that in between, we have two text view XML elements. These are also called children XML elements within the parent linear layout. You can imagine that if you had a self-closing tag up here for linear layout, then you would have no idea how many children it contains. But now that the closing tag is down here, you know exactly that you have two children. In our case, for the text view, there are no children XML elements, so we can just do a self-closing tag right away because that saves us from having to write open angle bracket slash text view closing angle bracket. You'll notice that we have a bunch of additional text inside this tag. These are called attributes. Attributes are characteristics that determine the behavior or the appearance of the view on the Android phone. For example, you can think of it with this analogy. A person has attributes like black hair and brown eyes. A text view has attributes like width, height, background, text, among many others. Looking more closely at the format of each line, we have the attribute name on the left-hand side, underlined in yellow here, and on the right-hand side, we have the actual value. It's important to note that the attribute values should be put in quotation marks as part of the syntax for XML. Then we have an equal sign in the middle to say that the attribute name on the left is set to the value on the right. So the text for the text view is happy birthday, and the height is 75 density independent pixels. All of these attributes have default values, and there's attributes that we didn't even list here. That's because the text view has default values for all of its attributes. If you're okay with the default values, then you don't need to set them here. You should only write lines of code here that you want to be different than the default values. For example, the default background color for a text view is a transparent color, but we want it to set it to be a darker gray color, so that's why we have this line of code here. One more important note. Humans are pretty smart. If I write phrases like this, you probably know what I mean even if I'm not using proper English punctuation or grammar, or even real words. However, computers are not as smart, so you need to use the precise symbols and names that they recognize. Otherwise, they won't know what you mean, and there will be errors in your code. Here's an example. For the name of the view, we can't spell it txt view, or text view with a lowercase v, or text view with a space in it. These are all incorrect, and the computer won't know that we actually mean text view. If we want text view, we need to spell it exactly the same way with a capital T and a capital V for camel case. Attribute names need to be spelled out this exact way with a colon after the Android. We need to have an equal sign, and then we need to put quotes around the values. One more time so you don't forget, it's ding, whoosh, pew, 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 boom. 
Now that we've gone over the syntax rules of XML, can you answer these questions for this XML element? First, what is the name of this XML element? Then, can you list all the attribute names separated by commas, not the attribute values? Then, on what line number is the tag closed? To help you, I've written down the line numbers on the left-hand side. 